May 21, 2022 Daily Devotion Days may be darkest But your light is greater You light our way, God You light our way When evil is rising For our scripture reading today, please read Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Breaking the Power of the Past When I was a child, I witnessed how my father dealt with difficulties in our family, and it was always with faith. He was a tricycle driver, and my mother was a full-time mom. Life wasn't easy for our family. I often heard him saying, I want all of you to finish your studies because I don't want you to become like me, who just finished grade 3. On the other hand, our grandfather, my dad's father, inculcated in their minds that when they already know how to read and write, they can stop studying. And that's what happened to my dad. He often does self-pity because of the thought that he didn't even finish elementary school. 
and came to the point of depression that caused him to turn his back on his faith. During that time, my parents also tried to abandon us when we were kids, and that thought is still haunting me. It haunted me more when my sister passed away two years ago without saying goodbye. The past that haunts me until now is the feeling of abandonment, and my dad felt the same way when he turned his back on God. These are some of the memories from my past, hence I want them to be broken by God. Today the verse tells how Paul wanted to forget what lies behind him and pursue what's ahead. We all know his background, what he did in the past, but because of God's grace, he tried to pursue and press on toward the goal for the sake of Christ. He was not a slave of his past. He knew that Jesus forgave him and wanted him to be used in his kingdom. But what if his past deeds haunt him? Before coming to Christ, his old self tried to distract him from doing God's will for his life. We can infer this because he also mentioned that the things he didn't want to do were the ones he did. The struggle of the past is the same as the struggle of sin. While we are still here on earth, it will continue haunting us. In my case, the feeling of abandonment keeps entering my mind, resulting in fear. Of course, God doesn't want His children to live a life of fear because of the past. In our families, there are traditions, beliefs, and practices that we are all having a hard time letting go of. We also have pasts that will keep on hindering us from moving forward. God wants us to learn from what happened in the past, but not dwell on it. Just take the things from our past that will help us become a better version of ourselves. It is easier said than done, but by His grace, we can do it. Reflection Every one of us has different stories to tell from the past. They were bad and also good, but bad memories remain in our minds and hinder us from moving forward, which sometimes causes us trauma. What are the things in the past that God wants you to break so you can start pressing on toward the goal? What are the things that keep on haunting you until now? Surrender them to God and ask for His wisdom and courage to let go. Prayer Lord, You know everything we've been through since the day we were born and until now. It is comforting to know that you were and you are with us until today. Lord, I ask you to help me let go of the past that enslaves me. Help us overcome these things. Help us break the power of the past so we can move forward and press on toward the goal you've prepared for us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen.